Hi, morning. It's Wednesday, the 14th of April today. Um, I thought I'd do a check in because obviously, I mean, like a lot of every, everybody who does reselling, we're out there because the charity shops are back open. Um, and I, I've been out Monday. I went to my honey hole and TK Maxx and yesterday I went out and I actually went on the tram for the first time in ages. I went. I have been on the tram, but I went. I had to go to a, a hospital appointment because of my long COVID symptoms, so that didn't really count. And we were in lockdown at that point because it was in January, so it was like quite depressing because I couldn't go and pop into anywhere. <clears throat> um, so this this week is the first week that I've been out since the beginning of November, sourcing properly, as in walking everywhere, and I'm making myself do it. Um, mainly number one i need stock but i don't need stock but i also don't want to waste this like unique moment in time because it is you know like a lot of the stuff is reduced and the they're overrun with stuff and it's just a unique point in time and the stuff that's been reduced that's been hanging around since christmas uh, or december out time um it's just i don't want to stay in and the other reason is because obviously I was ill um, from 13th of November all the way through December, feeling terrible, couldn't wear my mask. I have been wearing my mask again because I just I've been getting really lousy reactions from people. And that's only in Sainsbury's and Tesco is that, you know, I've got other customers glaring at me or, you know, being funny with me. Um and at the till, I'm often finding that my stuff is being sort of chucked about because the members of staff don't like the fact that you've got a sunflower lanyard as opposed to a mask. So I've put my mask back on because I'm sort of, I'm having bad episodes with it, but I just, it's not even worth it. So I've put, I've got my mask back on because I just don't, I don't want to have a bad reception in shops anymore. Um, so yeah, I've been out yesterday. I've, Although I went on the tram, there was like areas where I had to sort of go to um, out of the way. So I've done at least five miles walking yesterday and that's the point. I'm going to go out today, although it's a bit later. I, Me and my husband haven't slept very well because um, one of the things, well, it's, it's nothing to do with lockdown. We live in an area where people have house parties and they have guests calling all night and you know taking taxis home and the rest of it so the people opposite are where our bedroom is um they were having a big party last night they must have had about 10 guests um and they had music on all night and they were leaving right up until about 4am i mean I, my husband ended up giving up and got up at 4am because he was up at five because it was that ridiculous back you know and we couldn't really close the window because it was hot um so it's a, it's about half nine now, and so it's a lot later. But I've got some posts I've got to do here, and I'm only going to go to one. So I'm, although I say only one, it's a mile and a half away, and I'll end up doing three miles walk. There is there's an Oxfam as well, and this is a Salvation Army. So I'm going to go there, see what they've got. Um, my legs are hurting, but I want to get my fitness levels back. And obviously I want to lose some of the weight which I've got. I lost a lot of weight when I had COVID and then I've put it back on again because I've not been doing much. Um, and I just want my fitness levels back and as painful as it's going to be walking loads because I'm going to go out again tomorrow. Um, I just I just want my fitness back and it's important for my asthma that I do things like this. I don't necessarily want to launch into a workout but walking everywhere is a good thing so um these are the bits that i've got to pack up today i've got a lego set there this is one of the pirate ones um so i've got to pack that up and put that in cardboard i mean i left i left yesterday at 8 30 and typically this person paid at nine o'clock so you know in a, a different world that would have got posted yesterday as would have a lot of other things but there you go um this is a fat face top which I picked up. Um, I wasn't that impressed with it, and it had. Um, this is obviously one of these people who's died at a care home. 
so i got 10 pounds for that so that's going this jacket which was mine which is one of my decluttered items um because i decided to keep that kill bill-esque one um so this is just top shop i've got 20 for that although i probably could have held out for more but I'd, I'd like the sales to come in at the moment because everybody's out shopping so it's not that easy selling online at the moment this is a closet dress there's been a lot of interest in this um somebody offered me 14 pounds for it and i just took it because so what um this is i only listed this this week this is a peanuts top um it's it's only two it was 16 pounds originally it, i have bought that for full price um but it's a bit big <laughs> um and i got 22 for that so even though i didn't buy that in the sales i got more money than it is was originally because they flew off their website um open your eyes book which is one of the big job lots of book that i got when we couldn't source anywhere four pound for that uh, these are whistles shorts i've had these for a while i think these have got some silk content in them uh what did i get for these i think i got 18 yeah 18 sounds about right most of these sales came in yesterday while i was like on the tram and things and i just thought i need to get some money coming in because i'm spending spending and then this is a linen marks and spencers thing i I've seen a lot of Marks and Spencers and I'm not picking up because I'm fed up with Marks and Spencers unless it's like something interesting. But even my interesting stuff just sat around. Marks and Spencers. I don't I've been, I don't know why they haven't gone out of business, frankly. Um if other things have. I've only got a tenner for that. Um and it took them two days to pay. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get all this in the post and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do this walk. Um I have got a lot of I'll, well i'll show you well, i did that i have done obviously that um thing the other day a haul of everything that i've got which i've put on my spreadsheet um so all of that stuff is in this box but this is the stuff which i got yesterday bar some things which you know i've got that for me because that's not gonna well it probably would sell actually next but that's for me because I want to be a little bit rocky, but I also want something that's going to cover my gut. Um, and, you know, one pound jelly cat. This one goes for 20. I've looked him up. I can't remember what it's called. Something weird. Honky donkey or something. Um, but I've got, a, you know, I've got a decent amount of stuff there, um, which I need to put on my spreadsheets later on. I'm not taking the trolley out. I must take that bag out and I'll just oh, this suck. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, uh, I've got like a crystal thing as well there, which is quite nice. Um but yeah, that's my situation with that. So I'm gonna crack on with things. I've also I'm just doing this one shop and I'm hoping that I'll be back about one o'clock so I'll be able to actually get some like listing and work done, other work done. And I've still got my Lego here which I need to sort out, so I've got a lot to do. I just don't want to miss the sourcing opportunity that is, you know, the first week of opening. So, you know, some things will have to take a bit of a back burner and that's just how it is. So, <laughs> I'm, maybe I'll show you what I get. So, I'll keep you posted. Okay, back from my sourcing trip. I have just got one bag of stuff. Um, that was okay. It, it is um it's nice to have walked down that road because i've walked down this road for a few times and it's been absolutely deserted throughout the pandemic and it seems there are people back the students seem like they're back and um it's been a bit weird you see around here with the students because they obviously went at christmas and the majority of their places the properties around here they've still got christmas decorations up and some of them have even got halloween decorations up which i did walk past one today that had halloween stuff up in so 
but it did seem like it was getting a bit more lively so but still not cases around in this little one that I walked to so my I am starting to feel my legs again uh, it's quite nice uh, <laughs> I know that I've put on weight that I need to get rid of because I do not want summer chub rub so I do need to think about what I'm doing in regards to that um, and the bits that I have got obviously only a little bag's worth um, but I've got some good stuff here um, this this isn't the best thing I've got but this is a really good little thing that I've got here uh, this is Elvis Jesus so I pay three pounds for this uh, that's the label uh, it does actually have like another little label on the back there um, so this is actually it's a, this is embroidered sort of tiger stuff it does say king of kings uh, really cool as a lot of their stuff is um, I've looked this one up that's why I didn't do a video straight away I've looked this one up well, this is actually XL as well so that's a bonus um, rather slim XL um, so a similar one of these sold for £45 so I probably will put mine up for 50 and just wait patiently um, I'm quite happy with that it's definitely genuine as well it's got embroidery on the back so you know that was almost worth walking over there for but then I found something else and I researched this in the shop because I wasn't so sure um, and it was very obvious that that is Nike Jordan Michael Jordan and this is a baseball button-up top that I've got here and it's got a lot of the little details on it see so, it, so it, it's full of details like that and it is Nike and it's an old and, and it's a Nike label that's on there and I've looked up the RN number the RN numbers on the back of there and I've looked I, when I was in the shop I checked and um, in the US there's there's somebody who sold something obviously with Jordan written on it and this doesn't have Jordan um, as a spell out but it has got so many different details for it so the, the one the spell out Jordan that I've seen went for 150 pounds um, but obviously this is this is 1990s the RN number comes up with 1990s and this is completely unique so I'm I don't know I either put it on auction or I put it on for hundred pounds but I, I don't know <laughs> I just don't know and it is made in the USA uh, and it is genuine I've checked it they charged me five pounds for this so they must have known it was something because they don't really put things up for that but you know it's not it's unique but it's not like fabuloso if it had Nike Jordan if it had Jordan written over it but you see the buttons have got Mike Jordan all on them and this is rubberized so there's definitely it definitely might be for somebody so I might just have to put it at the hundred pound region on the off chance that the buyer is out there you see I'm reluctant with my auctions because the auctions that I've had haven't really gone that well um, as of late and you're relying on the fact that somebody the right person who wants that thing is around at the time that the auction is on so you know sometimes that's not a risk that I want to take so I'm just checking whether this is linen and it's 45% linen and the rest cotton. So this is a dress, a quite a nice dress. Uh, you know, it's got the sort of asymmetrical bit at the bottom and a cool leaf print on it. Uh, it's Joe Brown's and it's got a pocket. Um, Joe Brown's, size 16. So that's okay. So this Salvation Army seemed to have a lot of stuff from joe brown's and simply b but some of the joe brown stuff it just there was no although it was new with tags 
there's no point in me picking it up because I'm being more selective and it wasn't the Joe Brown style. So somebody who's looking for Joe Browns would not be looking for these type of dresses that they were because they just look like some garbage from BHS, Marks and Spencers. And I wasn't going to bring that home. Uh, so this is another size 16 thing. This is a really cool size 16 cropped jack cropped who's size 16 wants a cropped thing somebody will i don't know i'm size 14 to 16 but being a size 14 means i have a belly but i don't know maybe that's just me because i'm not supposed to be a size 16 um obviously it's there's people sitting in beer gardens they need jackets like this because it's it it's cold once you're sitting still it's cold so i'm expecting stuff like i'm expecting that to fly out the door i've sold a top shop jacket this morning for 20 quid as you saw um leather jacket that it was but another top shop ja top shop jacket will fly out the door for me and that's four pounds i didn't tell you i think it was four pounds for that um other thing that i had there yeah so i've not got much more in here Oh, this I haven't lo looked up, which I need to look up. Um, I should have looked up in the shop, really. Urban equipment. I'm not, I mean, this was probably a daft thing to do. Oh, Jesus, this was five pounds. I thought it was three. Right, this is probably a mistake. So that's what it looks like. Um, yeah. Mm. Never die, though, it had on it. And I thought that was, that would be something that somebody will want. Again, People need sweatshirts to sit in beer gardens, but you also want to keep looking like respectable while you're sitting in your beer garden. <laughs> so this this is um, for the festival and beer go beer garden dwellers, and hopefully I can get. You know, I really need to look that up. <laughs> what have I done there? Okay, so this is three pound fifty. And just a basic check shirt of 2XL and it's Paul Smith. So yeah, that's a decent price for that. I just should have checked the care label. Uh, yeah, that's genuine. It's genuine. So yeah, 25 area. Um, so this I've got because it was linen and uh, it is just fat face, but fat face is all right in it, I suppose. <laughs> I tend to, I like picking up for women, not so much men, because I find that they sort of sit around for a bit. But I would expect that a linen shirt will pick up a, a buyer quite quickly because it's linen. Um and i'll probably get about 20 for that um i've checked this one as well when i was in there um it's the lacoste thing now i was checking whether the teeth were defined on the crocodile and checking the label which is which is fine i had i bought lacoste the other day and i have got a, a lacoste and it all tallies up on these things so I was happy to pick that up for three quid. A nice short sleeve summer shirt, which should be an easy 25 quid really. And then, yeah, that's it. Just a pair of jeans. These are really basic ones. I'll better get these on quite quickly. I've just sold a pair just like this in exactly the same size uh, for the pounds uh, they're Wrangler they're the Texas stretch and I paid four quid for them and I know it, these are yeah 38 so they'll be a very easy sell because of the waist measurement and I won't even have to mess around with a template because I've got it <laughs> because I literally sold it last month um, so that's my little haul that's one shop that I went to today. 
um oh well one shot I went to an Oxfam as well but I don't you know it's best not to talk about that because I knew it would be rubbish um I walked up to it and I was like and it said up to 70% off and I was like oh this looks good uh yeah um they had some Christmas cards in there that were originally two pounds which were now one pound yeah oh and they had a Ralph Lauren shirt, which they were trying to get 24, which they'd reduced to 9.99. So, you know, obviously I came back with like all of the Christmas cards and yeah, no, nothing else was reduced. It was just rubbish, absolute rubbish. They had some other like Christmassy type things, which were still very expensive. And it was just like, well, how dare you even put a sign in the window saying, that you're having a 70% off sale when it was a 50% off sale and it was rubbish. <laughs> so that's my feelings about Oxfam. I haven't, I mean, I didn't even go into any, I didn't even go into any of the Oxfams yesterday because it was just a waste of time. I just, you know, it, it just adds to your exhaustion and annoyance at walking around and, you know, I just can't be bothered with it. So I didn't bother. And um, there's St Anne's place as well that I went to, but it's just furniture, so never really anything much in there. So just this one shop. Um, I don't know how much I spent there, about 35 quid, I think. But I, I expect to do quite well with that, and I have left stuff behind. Um, yeah, there was some, some woman came in and she was like, oh, I can hug you now, and rushed up and hugged the woman there. So, I mean, I didn't think that we were allowed to be hugging people, but, you know, what do I know? There's, like, full-on house parties going on around here. It's just me that's sitting here behaving myself, even though I've had COVID and recovered. There you go. Uh, I'm going to leave it there now and get these on my spreadsheet, get the rest of the stuff on my spreadsheet. I may or may not do a... Well, I... I will do some more haul videos because obviously I've got a lot. Um, it's Wednesday now. I'm going out again tomorrow and Friday. I'm going to the south, the south of Manchester tomorrow because my husband's working near Old Trafford cricket ground. So I'll do what I can on the tram and then meet him for him to take me home so that I don't have to add an, an extra m mile to my walk. <laughs> But I don't mind the walking because I really want to get myself out there and do some walking, get my stamina up, get my health back to where it needs to be. Um, because I, I'm really, really keen to get back healthy like I was rather than sitting here moaning to you guys. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed all that. And yeah, as... Uh, as I will continue to do, I will go out and get what's mine. And you need to go out and get what's yours, which isn't my phrase, it's a lavender clothesline, but there you go. So thank you for watching and please subscribe, that would be fabulous. Okay, it's, it's time to go now. I wanted to go zoo instead, not charity shops. Ugh.